Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install our free motion testimonial layout for Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right. So to install our testimonial layout for Divi, what we need to do is to go to this link that I've provided in the video description below. So this will take you to this post. Next, you want to download it. So if you scroll down here, you need to uh, add your email address into the opt-in box and you get this button which says download the files. So when you click it, it will download the files straight away onto your computer. And as you can see, I've already gone ahead and downloaded it. The next stage is to come over here, navigate to the folder. And in that folder, you want to unzip that uh, file. And as you can see here, I've unzipped it and this is the unzipped folder so the file that we need is going to be right here and this is it all right so what we need to do now is to uh, go to our website and add it to our site so over here i'm on my wordpress admin dashboard so what i'm going to do is i'm going to scroll all the way down here to the bottom and then look for divi hover over here and then click on divi library next you want to click on import and export and in our case, we need to import. So I'm going to click import and then I'm going to choose the file, which is in my downloads folder. Now, another way of doing this is to just drag it onto that um, area there. So I'm just going to click on it and then drag it here. OK, it does the same thing. Next, I'm going to hit import Divi Builder layouts. And this is going to import the layout onto my Divi library. OK, so now that it's imported, the next step now is to add it onto any page on our website. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to come over here to pages and click on add new. So I'm going to add a brand new page here and uh, we're just going to call it testimonials and then click on use Divi Builder. Next, I'm going to click here on build from scratch. Okay, so now that we've created a blank page, the next step now is to add our design from the library. So to do that, I'm going to come over here, click on this plus button, and then I'm going to go to my saved layout. And now we can see here we have the DV motion testimonial layout. I'm going to click on it. And this is going to install it on this page. All right. So here we go. So I've got the layout now. So when I scroll through this, we can see all the motions. In fact, we can't really see the motions because I'm actually in the builder. So what I'm going to do is to publish this and then exit the visual builder so that we can see all the uh, animations. All right, so now I've exit, exited the visual builder. So let's take a look at the motions. All right, so there we go. So you can see. There you go. So you can see all these coming in. Right, so the next step now is to customize this and um, really make it look like our own design. So I want to click here on enable visual builder. So there's several items we can go in and customize here. So uh, let's say you want to work on this text. You can just go in, click on this gear icon and uh, we can go into the design tab and we can start customizing this text. So here we can change the font itself. And if you want to change the size, you can come over here and perhaps make it smaller like that. And then if you're happy with that, you can just hit save. And then over here we have this divider. And again, you can go into the design here and change the color of that divider if you wish. So there we go. I'm just going to add this orange, save that. And then when you scroll further down, there's more text here. So let's say you want to go in and uh, change this text. You can just click on this gear icon. And now we have our text settings. And this is where you want to add all your text. OK, so I'm going to close out of here. Next, we also have uh, this background design here. So the background design, um, if you want to change any of that, you want to come over here to your row settings. Click on background and you can see here this is where we have this image. So you can either delete it or add your own image. OK, so I'm going to close out of here. And then we're going to go further down. You can see these images here. So this is our first testimonial. So to change this, you want to click on this gear icon. And here is where you can change the name. So let's call this guy Mac Doe. 
let's call this video manager so as you can see this is where you would go in and make your changes on the facebook url this is where you can add your facebook url twitter url and so on and if you want to change the image you can just come over here and then you can click on this icon and uh, either you can upload an image that's um, on your computer by coming over here or if you have a, a an image on your media library you can just select it from here now the most important thing as well here is the size of the image so let me just click this so you can see so for this for these images we're using 153 by 153 so this will look great if it's a square so make sure that whatever dimensions you use it's going to be a square so if you want to use 300 by 300 pixels make sure it's a square all sides need to be equal all right, so I'm going to close out of here. Next, we're going to go down here. So as you can see, it's pretty much the same. If you want to change this background, you can just come over here and change your background here. So you can either delete the image. And if you want to add a solid color, in fact, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to delete this image here. Okay, so you can see the image is gone. Now, let's say I need to add a solid color. I can just come over here and add my color just like that. There we go. So you can see I can highly customize this by adding all my colors. All right. So I'm going to close out of here. All right. So as we can see, the background here is black. So this may not work with um, your design. So if you want to change this, you want to come over here to your section settings. Click on background. And this is where the color is. So let's say I want to change this to a gray. As you can see, when I start dragging this, all the colors pretty much change on my background so this is where you want to come in and change your background so if you want to make it white just make sure that you go in and change your text from uh, white to a darker color so that it's easier to read all right so i'm going to close out of here and then uh, i'm just going to uh, save and exit and once you exit the visual builder this is where you get to see your final design So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.